What's going on, guys? All right, this weekend uh, I'm working on the Silverado. We're gonna do here with it this weekend is. And it doesn't have uh, speed one. I got two. I got three. I got four. I got five. But I don't have one. So. What it's going to be, it's going to be the blower motor resistor, which is located underneath the glow box over there. But luckily, I have an extra one of those from another truck I worked on. And it's a little different, but we're going to see if it's going to work. So on this truck, the resistor is really easy to get to because it's a work truck. But on your nicer trucks, like your you know nicer Silverados and Tahoes, there's usually a cover here you got to take off. What you're gonna need. You can use a 7th, 8th, or 7.32nd <laughs> socket. And there's just two screws holding it on. And I'll come right down. And basically all this thing is, is just a bunch of resistors. When you have it on setting one, a blower setting one, it's a bigger resistor. And then when you have it on setting five, there's pretty much no resistor. So all this is is a bunch of resistors. And you can tell it gets really hot and what cools it is actually the air moving over it. So if you're having a speed one or speed two, it uses a lot of resistance to cut down on the the voltage to turn the the blower motor but it gets really hot but there's not a whole lot of air flowing over it because you're cutting down the speed so they like to burn up so they don't really burn up in setting five or four because you have a lot of airflow because it actually this thing sits in the airflow so this one's the, the original one and here I have one from another truck uh, that I was working on, and this one works. And it's a little different than uh, this one. I think this one's a little older, an older style. I think it came out of a 99. This truck's a 04. It might have came out of a 2000 or a 99. I don't remember what it was, but it's older, I think. And I'm going to go ahead and see if this will work instead, because it's basically it's the same thing. The harness is the same thing. It does the same thing, it just looks a little different. So on my uh, old one, the wires are cut, so I'm going to have to transfer this plug. And then I'll plug it in and see what happens. It's basically the same shape, a little different, but I think it will bolt right up. Yeah, it'll go right up in there. So I'll go ahead and rewire this plug right here. Here's I got a little soldering kit. I got off Amazon. 
this thing plugged in and get it warmed up. This is a pretty cool kit. I mean, it comes with everything you need to do a quick little soldering job. It hasn't let me down, and it was really, really cheap. Um, little holder, and uh, come with some different tips, some solder, clean off, and um, it's a desoldering gun. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it actually it has a uh, a um, uh, adjustment here. You can adjust the heat. So I'm just to turn it on all the way. I want it hot. And this is my old one. And here's my new one. Don't need this. What I do need is I need this. Cut these off. Clean wire. Start with. Black to black. And purple to red. I'm pretty sure this is going to work because it's all the same stuff. And just wait for my iron to heat up. Alright, and just get your solder that came with the kit. And uh, usually, uh, if you ever done any soldering, and if you try to use some thick solder, it's usually pretty difficult to solder with. But typically, you want to get something as thin as you can, and it makes it easier. Let's see if the iron's hot. It's nice and hot now. All you gotta do is just get the iron. And stick it underneath the wire. Let's get it, let it get warm for a minute. And you're going to want to hit, hit up the corner of the iron real quick. Get a little ball going on it. And then just move that ball under the wire. And let that warm up for a minute and then hit it again. And once you get the wire warm, the wire will actually start sucking up the solder. What you're looking for is enough solder on both wires where it's still shiny. You don't want it to be dull because if it's dull, it's, not, it's pretty much called a cold solder and it's pretty much not a connection. So you want it to be nice and shiny and you don't want a big old glob. So. Got the fan going in the garage right now so it seems to be cooling it off real fast. but. It's going to be alright. You can start to see how the wire starts to suck it up.
that's pretty much what you want it to look like there. You don't want it, you know, a big old blob or anything. You want to keep it nice and shiny. So it's a pretty good kit, so it's pretty good. And if you want to get one, or you want to uh, see where I got mine, I'll leave the link on the description box and check that out. Go on, unplug it, I'm done with it. Uh, and the way this works is if, uh, say, uh, you needed to unsolder that, you just get it hot and you just suck the solder right out of it. I'm just going to use the tape and tape it up. Uh, if I had some, you can do it with some heat shrink, but, you know, I'm selling this truck, so I ain't going there with it. But I'm just going to wrap it in some tape nice and neat. And you always want to make sure you don't have any, like, little spiky points, okay? Because I can poke right through the tape. Cause some problems. So, you know, don't, don't poke in. You know, I'll wrap another piece of tape right here. Make it look a little nicer. Stick it in and see if it works. Right. Let's see where does this thing go? Like this? Nope. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's got the seal on it because I want to make sure that seal is still good and seal the seals that that cold air from leaking out. Back here, this is the blower unit back here. Let's plug that in and we'll go see if it works. Alright, turn it off. Get my keys, I got a million keys. Where's my key? Alright. Let's start the truck up. I got one, two, three, five. All right. I don't see no smoke. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, that fixed that. It's pretty simple. All right, that wraps up this episode of Flipping a Silverado. Thanks for checking it out. Um, if you want to see more videos like this one, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment box below. And uh, you guys, uh, take care. Be safe. Have a great weekend. Uh -huh.